This conference will now be recorded. Okay, moved by Drago Stefanik, second by John Peroff. Be it resolved that the Council of the Corporation of the Township of Hornpain does hereby direct staff to prepare a bylaw for implementation of the job evaluation and compensation review plan provided by Cornerstone Management Solutions Limited as directed for the, uh, the next regular meeting of Council. Those in favour? And that is carried. Okay, um... We have new and other business from, just to continue the wrap up from the closed session, we did have a discussion sale of properties and um, staff has been given direction on those items and there's no resolution coming forth at this time. So seven is new and other business. And I know that we had a few people from the community going to join us. Did uh, do we had we heard anybody? And I want to welcome our intern to the meeting tonight. Hello, thank you. Hi there. Got the video Hello. and all this time. Right on. So welcome. do we want to do we want to wait for other people? Or are we good to go? Or let's just go. Yeah, we'll continue on and. Um, so our new and other business is the recreations operations for 2020 and 2021 winter season and there was quite a lengthy document that Gail and her staff had prepared for us. Thank you for that. And uh, first of all, we'll open up for discussion on some of the items in the document. So what we're looking at council is our arena this year due to the possible use, non-use of um, the facility. Um, what those expenses are and should we provide secondary services you can see that in what the staff has prepared and are we and do we want to have an open discussion about this at our next council meeting on the 16th of September where we could actually get community input so those are the items we want to discuss tonight and I'll open the floor for discussion go ahead Drago thank you to your mayor to rest of the members of council Good report, uh, Gail. I realize you put it together for all the staff. My major concern is not whether we're opening or not opening is we have no contact for Hornpain Minor Hockey Association. That's a major hurdle. I mean, we and that's the biggest chunk users of our facility. We know that. I'll be skating, uh, rec hockey, uh, very minimum use throughout the season. At the beginning of the season it starts, say, October, November, but in January, non-existent. The key users are one user is minor hockey. That's my biggest concern before I make any decisions as far as when to open, when to close it, and go from there. Thank you. Thank you for that, Drago. I do agree we need input. Uh, go ahead, Gail, on that. Just uh, since I've <clears throat> done this report, um, Jay has spoken again with the previous uh, or the outgoing president of the minor hockey and it sounds like they may be calling their people together for an election sometime soon. So I encouraged him to encourage uh, that person to move forward with that and, and uh, try and have a meeting with parents to see what kind of level of interest there is this year. Um, being that, I mean, nobody's sure if anybody will actually want their kids to, to go and congregate or maybe they, maybe they really do want them to go out and get exercise. Like we need to have a feel for that some sort of commitment so hopefully that will take place before our next meeting or if it doesn't then we have an open discussion i'm hoping we get lots of input from uh the users the parents and the and the, the people that would be interested in using the facility thank you gail uh peter i saw your hand up did you have a comment or a question i'm just uh i'm, just, I'm gonna say basically gail was saying i agree to get in contact with colleagues. Okay, you're breaking out a bit, Peter, but I'm you you're in agreement with Drago and that we need to contact the people that will be the users? Yes. Yes, okay. Yeah, I'm in agreement with that too. Um John, did you have or Belinda? John, go ahead. No, I agree. We should uh, talk to the people that are using the uh, 
the facility and get a better game plan. We need more information, I think, before we make any decision here at Council. Yes, I agree. The one thing I do want to point Council to, though, is that we do have, um, we are in extraordinary circumstances with the pandemic across the globe and with our community. I I want us to look, though, and keep us focused on what we had set out in our strategic plan that 2021 and 2022, we were looking at our recreation facilities and what we were going to do moving forward. And I do think it's a great idea to have an open discussion with the public and that they could uh, have questions for us too. But I'm I'm a bit apprehensive to put money into an area like an outdoor facility or outdoor rink when we haven't had full discussion of what the long-term plan of that is. Because um, we have to think of every park, we know in our SDR that in every park, that we currently have, there's um, say, there's measure, or there's money that needs to be spent to upkeep that and keep that. And does this fit the goals that we want for the final outcome of our community? And I, I know it would be difficult to weather a season without any facility. I'm not saying that, but I think if we t spoke to our town, if that was what we choose to do, we could um, weather that. I just don't want the public to think we're closing facilities indefinitely. That is not at all my feeling across, and I want that out there to the community. But if we're not going to have users, we have to uh, spend responsibly. So go ahead, Peter. I'm very, I'm very confident that uh, people using the arena want hockey to go ahead. It's just that there's some internal squabbling going on amongst the there's politics going on with Horn Payne Minor Hockey right now. And I don't want to see the baby get thrown out with the bathwater because of delays. I, I, I'm sure that the, there is going to be hockey. They want it. It's just who's going to step up and actually do the running of the organization. Okay. Okay. So from this standpoint, then, we definitely need more information from the users. So, um We can have a discussion about having them come to our next meeting. Is council on agreement to having an open discussion for our community at that next meeting as well, where community members can ask questions as well? No problem on my behalf. No problem. Okay, so we ha will have an open discussion period at that meeting. I'm just looking through the, dis uh, the document now. Is there any other questions right now while I'm looking? Go ahead, Drago, uh, Councillor Stefanik. Thank you, Madam Mayor. I, I think with the outdoor rink, I, I had, we built that outdoor rink here in Horn Payne about uh, 26 years ago, right where the Horseshoe Park was. Yeah. And I also was part of outdoor rinks in Schumacher and Timmins. So many variables, too cold, not cold enough. Uh, the water um, freezes where you get your main water. It snows. Massive, uh, in my opinion, liability as far as outdoors. Is we have, and you have to maintain it. I mean, uh, to rely on volunteers, that's asking too much in my opinion. We would have to have it done by staff. So I prefer to go to our facility, even if you start a little later and finish sooner next year, but I prefer the facility that we have. Thank you. Thank you, Drago. Any other comments? I want to I want to say a big thank you to the staff though for being proactive. This is where we need to go. We need to look proactively at what what would our residents want and even if we don't end up going with any of the recommendations or have a discussion at least the people know that we're thinking about this ahead of time and it's not you know november 1st and we're not sure what we're doing so i just want to say a big thank you i know a lot of hours were spent putting this together a lot of discussion and i i personally like the idea of an outdoor rink i think in the future that or if if it comes out that the citizens really want that this year, that I think it would enhance our community. It's just how do we want that enhancement to happen and make sure it fits with our overall planning. So, so I think, did I cover everything we need for our next meeting then, Gail, for the open discussion? Am I missing anything that we need to discuss? <laughs> I don't think so. I think we can put out a notice looking for input, and I, I think I'd like to ask that people can, you know, email in or send letters in or however they, they can call in 
I think we need as much input as we can get. Um, and then obviously, um, you know, attend the meeting and speak in public. It's just not everybody's comfortable with doing that, right? So um, I think uh, um, I think I think word will spread pretty quickly. <laughs> so I mm -hmm. think you'll get a lot of interest for sure. And maybe that's something you can mention on your next uh, update that we're looking to have some input. Yeah, we can definitely do that. We have our uh, community control group as well tomorrow. So we can bring this up at our control group meeting and have a discussion there. And definitely we can put it on our Facebook uh, live and um, any other updates. And I can start uh, with Al Creswell too, saying that there's going to be an open discussion as well. So for sure. Any other comments from council on that before we move on? No, I think we need more information eh, before we make a good decision. Okay, right on. Thank you to all the staff. And uh, moving on for our, did I miss anything? We're on to adjournment then? We are? Okay, I'm getting, <laughs> <laughs> the last couple of meetings I've been zipping through wanting to adjourn and I've uh, oh, missed the agenda. It's, item. Much too, it's much too early to adjourn. I know, like <laughs> it doesn't feel right. We haven't even got to a break yet. <laughs> Hey, Gail, you could stay if you wish, Gail. No problem. <laughs> no, it's okay. <laughs> okay, so I need a mover and a seconder for our confirmatory, please. Peter and John. Okay, hey, moved by Peter Kistemaker, second by John Peroff. Be it resolved that bylaw number 1809 being a bylaw to confirm the proceedings of council at their special meeting of council held on Monday, August 24th, 2020, be here read a first and second time and considered be considered read a third time and finally passed. All those in favor? And none opposed. There we go. Okay. And our adjournment, if I can get a mover and a seconder, Drago and Peter. Okay, hey, moved by Drago Stefanik, second by Peter Kistemaker. Be it resolved that we do adjourn this special meeting of council held on Monday, August 24th, 2020 at 7.57 p.m. All in favor? And everyone is in favor. There we go. Okay, well, that was a great meeting. I hope everyone has Thank a you. good week. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Melissa, Gail. Thank right. you. Thank you. Have a good night, guys. Good night. Are you, you're going to finish recording?